sir now it's very clear we can develop web applications by using three technologies in java jdbc servlets and the jsp clear right okay sir even i covered what is the role of jsp what is the role of servlet and what is the role of jdbc jsp meant for presentation logic something like display display login page display inbox page display results page like uh, if you want to develop these are type of uh, present view components then we should go for what jsp technology sir when we should go for servlet technology servlet wherever some processing or business logic is required better to go for what servlet from java application if you want to communicate with that database then we should go for what uh, jdbc clear right sir let me show a small application whatever i developed uh, to get basic idea of web application right just uh, have a have a look once uh, sir here if you if you observe that okay sir this is a small small application i developed sir welcome to okay durga sir astrology okay don't feel sir i'm going to provide astrology sir okay no just <laughs> my intention is it's a small application sir sir whenever i send a request automatically i got uh, details are getting right now i got uh, details uh, details right sir enter name enter name let me enter my name durga durga enter lucky number 7 is my lucky number sir enter month of birth okay me me sir if i click uh, get astrology are getting if i click uh, get astrology automatically the request will goes to the server or not yes okay the request the request uh, will will go to the server right okay the request will goes to server observe sir if i if i send uh, if i send a request request to the server have you observed right okay if i send a request to the server now server component i mean some component process my request and the provide results for me are you getting right and the provide results for us right okay so whenever i enter my data and the click submit button click submit button automatically the request will goes to some component which is processing my data and the provide the results just have a look once sir get astrology okay hello durga your astrology here you are going to meet your loved one soon wah thank god okay sir i'm going to meet my loved one soon okay like sir this is the result i got are getting whenever i provided my data sir once i submit the this is the result by default i got sir suppose assume that there is my i'm the fan of sunny leone sir assume sunny okay lucky number some nine okay month of birth some august something like this i took sir some august august like i took i took now just observe get astrology if i click uh, then automatically you are the most hard working person but fate is not good okay some <laughs> hello sunny your astrology is you are the most hard working person okay but fate is not good just uh, in this application if you observe two pages an user can able to see one is details page the second one is one results page are you getting one is the details page second one is one results page correct or not okay just observe that sir okay now in this small astrology application it's a simple web application sir okay just i will host in the live from anywhere you can send a request assume that sir now in this how many pages you can able to see one is details page getting it one is details details page where you require to enter name you require to enter lucky number lucky number and the month of birth next uh, get astrology are you getting get astrology like this right sir once you entered data durga next uh, seven under then may immediately i click submit button now the request will go to some component this component read the data read the data and uh, process data with the uh, db communication with the uh, database communication sir because total total information okay astrology information saved in the database right you are the hard working person you are going to meet your loved one soon where i saved these uh, captions this data inside database this person 
required to communicate with the database are you getting next uh, sir do you know after once it got the data it uh, displayed that uh, data by using some results are you getting results right can you please guide in, in this requirement which are jsp where the jsp role next uh, what is the role of servlet and where the servlet is there where i require to use jdbc if you ever that basic idea then advanced java is nothing sir observe it's a simple application sir welcome to durga sars astrology.com or www durga sars astrology.com okay like like i'm taking now being end user are able to see this page or not yes i can able to see this page is right if you can able to see this page are you getting compulsory to the presentation logic view component view component we can develop by using what jsp that's why i developed this one details dot jsp what is the name of this person sir details dot jsp because it's the presentation you can able to see this component right clear next uh, what is this component sir this component sir is the responsible to process to process wherever processing logic is required wherever business logic is required we should go for one servlet that's why i can use process servlet are getting i can use which servlet sir process servlet next uh, what is this component sir database from java application if you want to communicate with the database then we should go for one jdbc okay clear now after processing servlet display the result to the end user how the servlet can display servlet is not responsible to display wherever something i have to display to the end user immediately servlet forward the request to jsp right are you getting now these results display that job going to take care by jsp this component is results dot jsp are you getting so total web application what is the role of each component now it's a very clear sir being end user you can able to see two pages one is details page second one is results page for this we developed by using which technology sir jsp clear next uh, wherever some processing is required happily we can go for what uh, servlet sometimes servlet can do or sometimes servlet can take help of some other java classes right okay like wherever database communication is required then we can go for what jdbc clear for all of you right that's all this is the rules of jdbc servlets jsp in our web application development okay like so what is the what is the need of advanced java course right to develop web applications remember this one sir in that web application development what is the role of servlet what is the role of jsp what is the role of jdbc jsp for presentation logic servlet meant for processing logic or business logic next jdbc meant for java to database communication clear right sir now up, up to this we covered about what core java and what is advanced java of course next level we require to talk about frameworks but anyway it's advanced later we will think about that but now i have one small doubt sir core java advanced java these are the courses sir which are introduced by amir pet people are <laughs> getting right if you consider according to sun microsystems according to java vendor who developed java their perspective in their point of view core java advanced java such type of terminologies are not there then according to java what are various versions are there or editions are there in those what is our jdbc where it's going to be from where it's coming servlets and jsp from where it's coming i will discuss sir first observe only one important point you should aware core java advanced java these kind of things are related to amir pet terminology but according to sun micro systems according to java vendor all java total java sir they made available in three editions are you getting right sir in how many how many editions are there sir three editions sir three three editions are there according to sun micro systems right what is the first one sir 
Java, Java Standard Edition. Are you getting right? It is the base, base edition, sir. Base Java Standard Edition, which is also known as J2SE. Java 2 Standard Edition or JSE. Are you getting this? is the first one, sir. Second one, Java Enterprise Edition. Are you getting right? What is the second one, sir? Java Enterprise Edition J2EE. Are you getting J2EE or JEE? Java Enterprise Edition J2EE or JEE. The third one, sir, Java, Java Micro Edition. Are you getting Java? Micro Micro Edition J2 ME or JME like this. Sir, total, how many editions are there in Java, sir? According to some micro systems, okay? Maybe outside of Amir we require to talk about these words only. J2SE or Java Standard Edition, Java Enterprise Edition, and then what? Java Micro Edition. Total, how many editions are available, sir? Three editions are available, right? Now, among these three, okay, when, sir, here core Java, your total Amir Pet core Java related to Java Standard Edition. Remember that. So, total core Java, core Java plus JDBC. Are you getting? Core Java plus JDBC. Of course, total core Java related to Java Standard Edition. And even JDBC is also part of Java Standard Edition only. Next, uh, what about Java Enterprise Edition, sir? Okay, very, very simple. Observe carefully, sir. Our servlets and JSPs, our servlets, servlets and JSPs, these things are part of Java Enterprise Edition. Remember this one, sir. In our advanced Java, whatever topics we are going to discuss, JDBC, servlets, JSP. JDBC is the part of Java Standard Edition, Servlets and JSP part of Java Enterprise Edition. Remember this one. Sir, do you know J2EE technology? Sir, JE technologies. Yes, I know JE technology, Servlets and JSPs. Do you know, sir, JDBC technology? From where JDBC is coming? Java Standard Edition. Clear for all of you. Sir, most of the times, we can use this Java Standard Edition to develop standalone applications. We can use this Java Enterprise Edition to develop web applications and the enterprise applications. Right? Of course, the next level applications are enterprise applications. Okay. Next, last one, Java Micro Edition, J2ME or JME, can be used to develop, can be used to develop mobile applications and the embedded applications. Are you getting right? Mobile, mobile applications and even embedded applications also. Sir, remote sensors are there. Okay. These kind of applications we can we can able to develop by using what? Java micro edition. Sir, for micro devices. Meant for this edition, meant for micro devices. Just like remote controllers, washing machines, like uh, wherever micro devices are there to develop applications for those devices, we should go for what? Java micro edition. Clear, right? Sir, now, JDBC the part of? JDBC the part of? Java Standard Edition. Servlets and JSPs are part of? Java Enterprise Edition. Remember this one, sir. Outside of Amir Pen, huh, sir, I'm learning, I know core Java, advanced Java. What is the meaning of that? You require to define. Sir, I know JDBC, servlets and JSPs. That's all. Next, uh, which versions? Current, current versions, right, as of now, as of today, what are the current versions what we require to discuss? Sir, now, anyway, JDBC current version is 4.2 version. As of now, current version, sir, maybe in the future, maybe updated. JDBC, we require to learn 4.2 version. Servlets, we require to learn, okay? Servlets, we, we require to learn 3.1 version. And the JSP is 2.3 version. That's all. If any person is asking, do you know JDBC? Yes. 
which version of jdbc you are aware don't tell jdbc 1.8 version 1.8 version is java edition but not jdbc edition sir don't tell jee 1.7 version of servlet 1.7 version is related to jee but not servlet servlet version is 3.1 version jsp version is 2.3 version yeah the part of our advanced java terminology these are the editions what we are going to discuss as of now maybe in the future any enhancements are there i will will be there for you don't worry about that clear for all of you right okay that's all sir this is the complete overview ah what is the need of advanced java course clear right sir already core java standalone applications we can develop with advanced java we can develop web applications right in advanced java what kind of technologies are there jdbc servlets and jsp the application which can provide services over the web is called web application okay gmail.com astrologyapplication.com are you getting astrology.com gmail.com google.com durgasoft videos.com right in the web application in java we can develop web applications by using jdbc servlets jsp our advanced java technologies right sir in the web application if you want to display something to the end user better to go for one jsp if you want to do some processing better to go for servlet if you want to communicate with the database then we should go for jdbc next uh, according to sun microsystems how many editions are there in java j to s e i mean java standard edition java enterprise edition java micro edition in that jdbc the part of java standard edition servlets and jsp are part of java enterprise edition okay clear next uh, sir do you know which versions of jdbc servlets and jsp we are going to discuss jdbc 4.2 version servlets 3.1 version jsp 2.3 version clear for all of you right that's all